Sometimes solving linear equations by graphing can be very time consuming or even inaccurate. Uh, suppose, for example, you are stuck with decimals or you just don't have the time to mess around with the graphing method. Maybe you're weak in it. Um, wouldn't it be nice to have a graphing calculator handy? Sure it would. In Mac, on the Mac, you've got Grapher. Very nice. But maybe you have a problem telling the dependent variable from the independent variable. Not everybody is strong at everything. But you might not even want to rely on graphing. There are ways to use algebra to solve linear equations other ways. <clears throat> and one method is called substitution. Now, when we use substitution, we solve one equation in terms of the other variable. And then we substitute the solution into the equation and we solve. Substitution allows us to create a one variable equation. Now, suppose we have this system to solve. y equals x plus 6.1 and y equals minus 2x plus 1.4 minus 1.4. Now we could go in here and look at this. This is already in slope-intercept format. But, you know, unless you've got graph paper that is graduated in the tenths, this might not be the best way to do things. So what's another way to do this? Well, we can use substitution. Here's something we know. We know that y equals this. And we know that y equals this. So we know that these two things are exactly the same. They're exactly the same. All right. Well, if that's the case, then let's, let's do a little substitution. I have a y right here. And I know that y equals x plus 6.1. So I'm going to say that x plus 6.1 equals, well, this y equals a negative 2x minus 1.4. There we go. Now we solve for this guy. Well, we do it just like we did before when we were looking for solutions. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. That way, this 2x goes away. I don't need that plus sign there. It's not necessary. And I want this 6.1 to come over here. So I'm going to get rid of it from this side. I'm going to subtract it from this side, 6.1. And I'm going to subtract it from this side, 6.1. Well, notice. 2x minus 6.1 equals 2x minus 6.1. Son of a gun. We can put an equal sign in there. Now we just do our, we just add straight down. x plus 2x is 3x. 6.1 minus 6.1 is 0. Equals 2x minus 2x is also a 0. And a negative 1.4 minus 6.1, that's adding two negative numbers, so I have a negative 7.5. Now I want to solve for x. So I divide both sides by 3, and I get that x equals negative 2.5. No hocus pocus, no smoke and mirrors, there it is x equals negative 6 point, or 2.5. Okay, but what's my y equal? Well, fortunately, I have another problem up here. Look at this. I say that y equals x plus 6.1. Okay, so if y equals x plus 6.1, well, x equals minus 2.5. plus 6.1. And if I put that through a calculator or churn it out the old-fashioned way, 
I make this fabulous discovery that y equals 3.6. So that my solution to this problem is minus 2.5, 3.6. So I say, well, to find out if that's the correct answer, we have to do one more thing. Let's put both those numbers into here and see if we get the right answer into this equation. So I say y equals 3.6, and that equals negative 2 times negative 2.5 plus, sorry, minus 1.4. Well, let's put this through our calculator. We discovered that this is a minus 2 times minus 2.5 is a 5, minus 1.4. And putting that through a calculator, I get 3.6. And both sides of my equation equals 3.6. So this is the solution to the problem. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Okay. We have a few more like this. We're going to go through them also. So this is part one.